Hello everyone, welcome to yourselves back to the channel, back for another She-Hulk review. This week, episode 6, of course, only 3 episodes left. And we're almost at the end of another MCU show. And, you know, I think it's been very well paced. I think the episodes are a little bit too short, in my opinion. But if, uh, if you haven't checked out, do go and check it out for yourself. It, it is enjoyable, corny and, you know, cringy at times. But, um, you know, definitely worth checking out. <laughs> And uh, just for all those little cameos or little hero type people that appear, or for the little nods and you know other things that are set to happen. So spoilers ahead, of course. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and let me know down below your thoughts on She-Hulk: Attorney at Law, Episode Six. Let's go. So um, this week was all about a wedding, about a person we've never met in Jen's life who she knew at school. <laughs> We also got, you know, to see some really good court scenes between Jen's right-hand woman um, and the other lawyer she worked with in the last episode about the rights to She-Hulk. We got to meet a character called Mr. Immortal. And there was just... The best way of putting this week's episode, random. It was just random. You know, Titania showed up at the wedding, you know, acted all innocent and stuff. And then when Thingy was drunk and she couldn't transform into She-Hulk, she, um, you know, eventually broke her rule of not turning into She-Hulk at the wedding, so it didn't all deflect away from the, uh, the 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 bride. And then Titania just ends up being this really weak character who gets her veneers broken, she gets beat down, and then that's just that. The wedding, the whole wedding stuff, just seemed. I don't know. I don't want to say forced because they, did, they didn't need it. It just felt random. A character we'll never see again. Transforming to She-Hulk and taking Titania out after a couple of punches. Trying to be exposed, but then Titania exposing herself. You know, all the court stuff about Mr. Immortal was funnier to watch. You know, Mr. Immortal diving out the window and surviving, obviously, because he is immortal. Um, the relationship between the two lawyers... Um, what I do find interesting is that there's these people that are watching over Jen, and I'm guessing that's maybe that's why Titania keeps showing up. Maybe they try to transform to she so they can get some blood samples from her, even though her skin is impenetrable. So I'm interested about that. Um, could it be sword? Um, I think if you're trying to connect the world, I think sword's the most logical. I thought Charlie was going to appear this week. But it appears they decided to put a filler episode in to bring no extra context to the episode or series, you know, apart from just leveling up Jen's right hand woman as a better lawyer. Uh, I don't know her name. Um, she the Titania again, and she just got her ass whooped. And a little random romance between Jen and is it Brad, someone like that, whatever his name is. <coughs> he seems like a nice guy. But again, they're just sort of doing random sporadic things. It, for me, I, I'll never take this show seriously as something that's wonderful to watch. It's enjoyable. The actress who plays Jen is great at what she does. But it's definitely going to be going down as one of the weaker shows simply because nothing's really happening. We're six episodes in. There's no true villain. You don't look at Titania and go, she can beat She-Hulk. But obviously, we you know, with the last few episodes, she's going to get beat in some form or way. Episode 8 or 9, she'll redeem herself. And that's obviously why I think Charlie's Daredevil will get brought into it to assist her. Um, you know, Frogman's meant to appear at some point. But yeah, I'm really struggling to see where She-Hulk's going. It's been nice seeing cameos from Wong, Hulk, Abomination. <coughs> Little characters, costume teasers, um, scientists spying on Jen, all this stuff that's accumulated in the first six episodes. But at the moment, I, I'm, I you know, I'm always going to watch it. But I just, I'm struggling to see who can beat She Hulk. Who's going to be that villain that can beat her? I think maybe. This could have been a good time to bring the leader in, you know, the villain of Captain America, to have teased his villainous side of beating She-Hulk and then going into hiding of where he is then connected into Captain America. I think that could have been cool. But obviously they are shying away from showing us who those scientists are. They teased us in the last week. It came to nothing at the moment. They teased us this week. 
will this come into play next week or will it be Charlie's next week and then the scientist episode eight and then obviously the finale in episode nine. So do let me know down below your thoughts on She-Hulk episode six. Um, do you think we're getting anywhere? Look, the reality is it's a good addition to the, the MCU. We just need a bit more because three episodes left and <clears throat> I don't feel like we've achieved much bar the She-Hulk origin stuff and the few cameos. So I'm optimistic and I'm excited for final three. Stay tuned for those. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.